Hi there. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can perform logging in your Selenium Python test. So what we are going to do is we are going to write the code and we are going to save our logs in file named example.log. Just so you know, the log file will be stored in the same directory to that of our Selenium test. So for example, I have demo.py on my D drive and same log file will be stored on my D drive. Okay, so here I have my app as one such log file. So the, this is the same directory on which it will be stored. So let's start by importing, import logging. Second thing is to import web driver from selenium after that let's type in log file name equals to this is the name of our log file after that we are going to set basic config okay here I'm going to point to file name which is log file name so it will point to our example dot log file then set the level to logging dot debug okay after that we will write our selenium web driver code so let's start by typing driver equals to web driver dot let's say chrome you can use firefox if you want then we will type in logging dot debug and here i will point the message as chrome instance started after that we will simply print out browser or let's say driver dot capabilities and here I'm going to call for version and after that I will have locking dot debug as message browser version printed okay you can point out logging dot error logging dot info and logging dot msg methods to print out respective log messages i'm simply using debug messages to show you how this login works you can change this to info msg or for message and and then print out respective log messages now let's go ahead and type in python demo.py and this will execute our logging test and we will find example.log at the end of our test so here on command prompt it shows you browser version and on D drive it should have the file named example.log double click on it and here you will find this debug messages where it starts connection request gives you information about connection OS browser etc then you have web driver connection request being finished and then you have two messages that goes in debug root as Chrome instance started and browser version printed these two are the one that we sent to our log file can additionally make changes into that and by that you will get message such as info or error etc okay so this was a simple login tutorial for selenium pi